Welcome back. So this is a follow up video of the Orange Pi Zero review that I did last week. And today I'm going to be talking about the Orange Pi Zero and the Pi Jack. That's a hat that adds Ethernet to your Raspberry Pi Zero. So the Pi Jack is built by two guys uh, in UK and Slovakia. So that meant that this thing showed up very quickly. So I have three complaints about using this Pi Jack with the Raspberry Pi Zero. The first one is that I did some performance tests of the uh, Ethernet connection using the iPerf tool. Instead of the promised 10 megabit connection, I got only four, which is less than half of that uh, number. So I wasn't really impressed with that. And uh, obviously there are use, some use cases where this is appropriate. So you re really don't care uh, about the speeds as long as the packets get there. The second point that I didn't like about this is that it's a, actually a hat. But that's more of a design issue of the Raspberry Pi, uh, all the ecosystem there, uh, rather than this board. So I wasn't able to add the hat and then use the USB to UART connection and uh, get into the serial console of the Raspberry Pi to verify that it's actually working without removing the hat. First, I had to verify the Raspberry's work, Raspberry Pi is working and then just trust that it's going to work with this hat and it actually did so that's the nice thing about this board about the Pi Jack is that it's plug and play there is um, it uses the proper Pi hat standard so it means it's recognized by the board and it loads up all the appropriate modules and whatnot so that's that's very good so the power draw is roughly 170 milliamps um, when it's connected to Ethernet uh, that's the full board, that's the Raspberry Pi Zero plus the Pi Jack. Uh, the price of the board, uh, of the Pi Jack, is 20 US dollars delivered. That's the price of two of these boards uh, that has the Ethernet already built in. So, uh, but anyways, I bought it mainly for testing and for this comparison videos. Overall, I think this board is useful if you are looking for the Raspberry Pi connectivity uh, for some other reason than just having the Ethernet. Uh, because the price of this is uh, pretty steep. The networking speeds are slow. If you don't really care about that, uh, then I definitely recommend you check out the NanoPi Nano Nano, Neo or the Orange Pi Zero. So these are uh, way cheaper and they're well supported by the Raspberry and operating system. I like them a lot. So uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or up, thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.